Decography skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Yeah, yeah, good morning guys. Welcome back to Deco Graphic Design Training. I believe we're all doing great this morning. It's your boy Deco Graphic. Today I brought to you amazing tricks. And I came with amazing topic on how you can come up with a monogram logo. When your Android smartphone is using your PC lab, here we go. You have no excuse whether you're a business owner or you are a designer that you actually promote people businesses or you are a business owner you can do it just follow this step what do i mean by monogram logo as you all know monogram logo is one of the decorative design which is made up of combination of one to three letters traditionally three to create a single symbol this monogram logo i'm talking about is one of the type of a logo design that commonly used to represent the initial of a person or a brand. The example to this monogram logo are not far fetched. We heard about head Jill, LG. How do you produce manufacture TV? We have LG fridge, with freezer, and so on. This LG, they are brand, but they pick the initial of their brand to come up with a logo. Very simple. A logo has to be simple, not complex the simplicity matter whenever you are making your design because it actually communicates on represent visually to the people outside the world to the people of the world what am i saying in essence let me give you another example we have hp hp produce manufacture laptop we have laptop charger as well this is a brand company as well that decided to make use of monogram logo to visualize their brand another one is bmw bmw is also popular we all hear about that they manufacture cars they decided to use the three initial of their brand to come up with a logo to visualize their brand so today having sell that today i'm going to show you how you can use create something unique like this so i have a brand with me they are into uh they are into event event program events like uh, weddings birthday naming ceremony uh let's assume you are a designer or you are into this how can you come up with a logo i have the name of the brand with me already then i was thinking of what to do i decided to give them monogram logo so they have the name of the company is 360 degree event 360 degree event how can i come up with one let me show you how you can quickly do this what we need to do first is to think about the font we want to use so i have the font i want to use i've already thought about that i know the font that can quickly go with this because i'm using this to make a design so i was thinking of using an archivo or uh, uh really well multi-sera font so i'm using the simple font anyway multi-sera font yeah let's yes when you get multi-sera font you increase the size let it bigger we later we are going to reduce everything so after you are able to get that you copy just keep that one one side then we have 60 we keep the zero we later use that so after you are able to do that then the next thing we need to do is to turn on our grid to make the work easier i want to teach you as simple as cbc i know what to do at that level if i don't want to go to unnecessary stress like that i will just tap that so the next thing i want to do i will measure everything before i will finish it so put this at one side so after you are able to put that don't worry the thing that is in touching brand but well, i know what i'm doing you can copy this then we have degrees so i want to measure everything degrees then the event will be very simple so we have degree so when you have a degree you can quickly go to the size reduce the size to a bare minimum level then you 
are going to click on the center we will have this okay since we have our demarcation we need to play wise here so because this will tell us what we are going to cut so what i'm going to do now is to reduce this very well but i will be seeing it a little bit for me to be able to position this here because she didn't exceed it and she did go beyond it so now i'm changing what i'm changing the i'm changing the font so we have uh let me use bbas font I think that will be the best here so clicking on the bbas font the bold one will be better then i will increase the size use x here okay then you are going here increasing the size a bit to form a lament so when you're able to do that you can now shift a little bit to the right after that we are going to copy so when you copy what, what is going to be here we are going to write event okay but our event is going to be big okay perfect so write event position it there then you increase the size to form the alignment okay good so now you can see what i'm saying then the next thing we need to do let's quickly change this font since the grid is so that big then uh, we can make this to not big so we have a biba we change because it is a font family okay so we see the one that is not as big as that so which you are going to position you can see what i'm talking about then i will now increase this at one bit one bit then merge it another trick amazing trick about pixel app tap here since we are moving the two mark it mark this uh, icon beside the latent key then you click movement arrow so now this is where we are going to position and uh, see whether everything is actually work as we plan so just let there be a breathing space a little one between this right up and what we are talking about remember we are still targeting something okay very cool very cool so now let's remove this for us to be able to see it's okay so the 360 what are we going to do with the 360 i mean the six so i'm going to rotate if i rotate is it okay so which means I have to move it to make the mouth easier so checking to the checking the top as well so now when everything has been done i need my mask my mask has to be sharp so make it make your masks form a straight line the way i'm doing doing it let it form a straight line okay cool, cool. then when it form a straight line remember it's like a blade that sharp every that cut out everything you need to be mindful of what you cut okay so now what we are going to do next after making it in straight line we can now bring it down okay 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 so we can go to rotate rotate a bit okay let's see are we able to cut out okay i'm coming right right let's adjust around here so when we adjust here this need to be moved inside as well because the power lies on this left and we need to cut it accurately and that's why our eyes need to be sharp and it will just uh, cut all this crap you can reduce the size for you to have the full control of everything then you start again start again to reverb just that you, i want it to be bigger and i don't want it to i want a clean job 
So if you want a clean job, using the shape to cut out the shape might not give you the accurate stuff you want. Okay, so now that we are able to see that, but don't forget, make sure you, you, you actually cut out everything well as you want. That line is not straight. Okay, it should be able to. So we go to the opacity for us to see what we did. Correct. Perfect. So now we have the results as you can see. What we are going to do next, we are going to merge everything. You can see, right? Merge them. So when you merge them, then it will remain what? We say 360 degree event, uh, degree event. You see? But the zero, where is it going? We need to use it to form a shape. Okay? So what we are going to, I mean, to form a logo, just have your zero, your opacity, reduce it to zero. Then we increase this a little bit. Just let's let make it to be 10 or 11. Then after that, we are going to position this here. But that will be an amazing trick. So what we are going to do. So let there be breathing space much. So 11, 11, 11, 11 or 10. Let me make it to be 10. So after that, we are going to position it. Position it to the center, just as perfect as this. Then the next thing we need to do is to lock it first lock the two then we are going back to the shape have this shape opacity zero then we'll form something like circle as well let it be 10 as usual but shouldn't be big so if you make it big reduce it to it okay then we can see the circle here oh what are we going to do here we are going to position that around here but this can still be reduced okay so since we have reduced it let's increase it so it's now 10 perfect so we can reduce it now a bit then we have this we'll say 360 so let's have a position around here position it then when you position quick thing that you need to do for you to see clearly just change it to white then you tap on this circle that bigger one because we want to join the hand increase then we have positioned these two on top of this just continue dragging perfect then close the mouth here now enable click ok perfect go to the color change the color to white to make it uniform if you didn't do the clean job here you can go back readjust before you mesh it's very simple now i suspect there is a mouth coming out from here we shouldn't be so position it well then everything will look real now we have our logo ready very unique you are going to merge it together reduce the size a little bit after that position to the center go back to the color i mean to the uh, three line dots where we are going to apply our background we sell event center now cool we are going to import this when you import it then you can see the magic okay how can we make this thing look more real what you are going to do is not even difficult to make it okay you need to make the background to be cooler how can you do that enable this particular shape spread it across tap any of the color you wish here to make it a bloom then after that we are going to send it to the back if it doesn't work we have a way of making it work then you position it just look at this position it to the center and this is just a single trip if you don't want that you can actually continue changing the color look at it is this not amazing you can continue changing the color to your best of to the best of your knowledge then you can see how amazing it will be 
this is just a simple trips on how you can come up with a logo on your android smartphone using your pcl app my dear brother you have no excuse please keep on watching my channel for amazing tips like this thanks for watching once again god bless you